Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks, sampler base. Here's what I've been doing for a little while now. I'll go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that, Tom, I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. It's another fan request. Hooray, I get to get in another one. This is a real simple one, so I was like, boom, let's do it. But we'll get to that. Folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there and we'll try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm yammering on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, I'm wearing grody work clothes. Typically, when I'm inside the truck and I'm wearing grody work clothes, that means I was on my way home from work and I found some shit to review for you. In this case, it's kind of the case. Uh, I didn't specifically find it. Because, like I said, this is a fan request. But it was a thing where I got the notification last night. And I was like, honestly, I was like, do they still have that? I don't know. But I was like, all right, fuck it, man. We'll get it in. So I got off work. I was hungry anyway. I was going to hit up McDonald's. But I was like, nah, man, fuck it. I'll go to Dunkin'. Because what am I reviewing for you today, folks? Well, it comes courtesy of Mr. Brett Lift, who commented on a couple of my videos. Thank you, Brett. I appreciate it. Boom! It's from Duncan. And it is, boom, their snack and bacon, which is their little handheld bacon side that they have available. Um, now, what with this being a Duncan review? I actually have an entire playlist of just Duncan stuff. So this is going to end up on that playlist of just Duncan reviews or sampler platter Duncan reviews. And yeah, uh, according to Brett, this is one of his favorite items. He wanted to see me go over there and give it a go. Yeah. I know I've had this in the past, but it was years ago. And like I said, I didn't even know if they still had it. Like, because I just, I like bacon. But typically if I go to Dunkin', I've got specific things that I'm aiming for. So, but let's get a thing for the thing. Try to make this look as sexy and appealing as possible. I don't know how well this is going to work. <laughs> Looks like that. <laughs> Bacon. Yeah, it's nice and crispy. And it's got like kind of a candied aspect to it. Like they definitely glazed it with something. Because it's not just crispy bacon. There is definitely some kind of a glaze. I think it gives a little extra sweetness. Maybe I'm trying to think of what that could be. Maybe like a light honey glaze or something like that. But it only adds a little sweetness. It's not like candied bacon. You know, it's still bacon. Very kind of smoky flavored, actually. But super crispy. I mean, no chew whatsoever. It breaks apart instantly in your mouth. That kind of a pepperiness to it. Got a little pepper, a little smoke. And like I said, you got a little bit of a sweetness. And you got, you know, nice bacon flavor. That's not bad. You know, Dunkin' Donuts, their breakfast items are kind of hit or miss. Um, and honestly, I'd say probably more miss than hit, but... They do have their good ones. Um, I remember when the snack and bacon came out a few years ago. Or several years ago now. I couldn't even tell you anymore. But I remember kind of laughing at it because it just seemed a little bit ridiculous. But then me and my friend, uh, my buddy Dan, we went out to go grab some Dunkin' at one point. And uh, Dan doesn't watch my videos, so fuck you, Dan. Just get, I always got to get that in there. But we went and we got some. And it was one of those things where we kind of jokingly got it. And then we both kind of agreed, like, hey, you know, this is actually pretty good. It's nice to see that they've kept that up. And it's nice to see that, like, it's not... Because I was half-tempted when I saw Brett's request. I was honestly half-tempted to just respond to him and be like, well, I mean, it's just bacon. 
But I'm not correcting. I mean, it is, but it's not just bacon. There is more to it than that. It has some real dimension to the flavor. Like I said, there's, you know, different things going on. I'm actually really glad that I did this again. Because, it's, like I said, it's been a really long time since I've had the snack and bacon. And it's honestly a lot better than I remembered. Good on you, Brett. You got some good taste, brother. Yeah. It's good, and like I said, it's almost kind of candied. I think that little bit of sweetness... You all know I like contrasting flavors. And when it comes to something like this, it's got a lot going on. You know, savoriness of the bacon, a little bit of salt. And then, like I said, you know, got a nice pepper. Pepper's actually really nice, too. Gives it some heat. Like, actually goes to the back of your throat and gives you a little something-something. So, that's nice, too. I mean, I'm always into food that gives you multi-dimensions, you know, that like it isn't just a one-note thing. And in the case with this, it could have been a one-note thing. Could have just been, here, here's some bacon. And to be fair, especially being in America, I don't think most people would have complained about that. But I appreciate that, you know, there is actually more to it than that. It's not just, you know, just some bacon. That's good. I like it. Well, like I said, I actually like it more than I thought I was going to. Because of all the stuff going on. But, two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? <laughs> eh, work stuff. Um, would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Um, you can go with yes and yes. I think, for me personally, it's one of those things where, like, I honestly think this is going to kind of put it back on my menu a little bit when I go to Dunkin'. It's not going to be my go-to item. I still have other things that I consider to be favorites above it. But, considering I didn't even know that it was still on there, that says a lot. And it is one of those things where it's like, yeah, you know what? Every now and again. Hell, this might even be a nice thing. You know, maybe get one of their breakfast sandwiches and put it on top. I'm just saying, that could be a nice thing. But, I could see getting it again. Yeah. And if I'm recommending it to people, I mean, it's been on the menu for years now. It's obviously kind of a staple item for them, and I think it has every reason to be there. I think it's one of those things, if you've ever considered checking it out, and you haven't, give it a go. I will say I don't think it's going to be for everybody. Like I said, it does have a little heat from the pepper. That might turn certain people off. And if you are looking for more just like a straight bacon experience, <laughs> but I do think of nothing else. You know, I mean, and about the only thing that's a little bit prohibitive to it is I think it's about four bucks for the snack and bacon and it's like you don't get a lot of bacon so you know that's about the only real criticism I have for it is like price wise if it were like two bucks that would be perfect I'm guessing that's probably along the lines of what it was when it first came out but inflation and blah 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 blah, blah and all that bullshit but anyway five things for I get out of here <clears throat> have yourself a great rest of your day spectacular rest of your week monumental rest of month spend this rest of your year go over there have yourselves a truly bacon rest of your life. I mean, you know, unless you're vegan or, you know, what have you. In which case, uh, the carrots or kale or whatever you're into. Final two things. Number one, <laughs> my blue finger. Number one, <laughs> not going to make that joke. <laughs> Granted, I don't make my content for kids, and I have to select that whenever I upload something. Still not going to make that joke. Number one, try to bring some positivity into the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if you can't do all the time, I know I can't do all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes, folks. And when we find ourselves in situations where we have to deal with said bullshit, it's important that we go over there whenever possible. Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully, do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there. Maybe, like Brett, you watch my channel and you got some stuff in mind that you want me to review. Well, I'll try to do it. Now, I do want emphasis on the try part because 
I have had stuff where people have asked, you know, me to review something or what have you. And for one reason or another, you know, it's just been difficult to accomplish. Uh, right now, I'm still Oda Khaled, a uh, guy who frequently comments on my videos. Love you, buddy. Uh, I'm still looking for the rice pudding you wanted me to try. I can't fucking find it anywhere, man. So, but I got a couple other places I'm going to hit up. I'm going to see if I can make that one go. But so, you know, it's availability and what I can make happen. Other thing is, sometimes people ask me to review, like, restaurants and stuff like that, which I'm down for. But, when it comes to that stuff, there's things that come into play. One is fucking distance versus my location. I'm not driving out of state. You know, like, that's... Or even, I'm honestly not driving that far out of, like, the Chicagoland area. There might be a banging-ass place down in southern Illinois. I am not going down into that fucking meth haven. I'm sorry, there's some nice things in southern Illinois and some nice people, but y'all know I'm right. <laughs> Interesting fun fact about Illinois. Once you get past the Chicagoland area, it's a lot of corn and a lot of shady characters. <laughs> but no, um, but no, seriously. If it's something I can do with, you know, relative ease and, you know, not too expensive, I'll try to get it in for you. So, hopefully that's satisfactory for you, Brett. Anyway, 